I always felt like a bitch when I was a kid, dude. Like my dad is a my dad is a fucking amazing man, a smart professor, but my dad was the in the relationship with him and my mom. He was uh, the more feminine one. My mom definitely was the masculine of the family. So growing up, I had a like it was weird. I I felt like I didn't really have a like a masculine figure to look up to in terms of like things that I wanted to learn, such as like talking to girls, or lifting and bodybuilding or like i don't know doing camping stuff and whatever like my mom put me in boy scouts because i had to learn something somehow Mm -hmm. you know i couldn't learn it from my family now that i'm on trt it's kind of a weird thing that like i can't it's kind of hard for me to tell whether or not it was genetics or not whether or not my testosterone was low before or it was um nurture and it was just how i was raised but I feel like I can take ownership of my masculinity now. Like, I feel so much more in touch with my masculine than I ever have in my entire life. And now also, like, dude, I used to have so many, like, girlfriends. I had so many female friends. But now I'm, like, I'm making all these dope-ass close relationships with my f- boys right now. Yeah. Like, this last year... Yeah. We've been rolling deep with the boys. Mm-hmm. And it's been sick. It's important, man. Yeah. You got to have them boys, man. <laughs> you got to have the boys. It's so important. Yeah. Yeah. That's but cool. I don't know. I don't know if it's because of testosterone, because it's uh, of TRT or what. But I do definitely feel a difference in TRT. Like when I've increased my dosages, I feel more of that. Mm-hmm. Like when I like blasted 400 that one time, I was like, really to get in terms of masculinity i was like going out there and getting shit done Mm. um i felt a lot more aggressive obviously um i did feel a lot more irritable because 400 is a fucking lot uh but there was a lot of other aspects man like a lot of things about masculinity and just being a fucking man Mm. were so much easier to do yeah with that test level than when i was natural or when i was younger or a kid Mm-hmm. Before I ever touch PEDs, mm-hmm. yeah, dude, yeah, it's interesting. I, it is interesting. You know, I feel like something like that too is, um, it's like a, uh, it's like a cycle, right? So you know, let's say to start, you didn't have the highest testosterone levels, you know, growing up through adolescence, and like because of that, you know, you might have the predisposition to not be able to maintain some stuff that's more like masculine sided, right? And as you go out in the world and you interact with others, it's almost like they self affirm that into you. Cause, because they respond to that. Right. So like, whatever it is, you know, if, if you're not ambitious enough, you don't, you can't put your foot down in certain situations, like whatever it is, you know, it's almost like it starts because of that, but it snowballs because you, 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 uh, believe in that hundred percent because of just how people respond, you know, and like you self affirm it and it keeps going, it keeps going. And at that point, like you're pretty much stuck in the mud, but with something like TRT, it helps you get out of that rut. And then you could keep building a new cycle of just like being able to culture your, your masculinity and be able to like see that come into fruition and like actually like, you know, just create the, the process of of reestablishing yourself in a, in a different aspect. And I feel like TRT is like a good catalyst for that because it's literally the baseline of, of, of your chemistry, you know? It's yeah. Like, it's like what is it's the foundation of, of your mental. It as, really as, is. As a man. Yeah. It's crazy how much of a difference it makes. Yeah. Like physically, mentally, even spiritually. Yeah. Your hormone levels make all the difference. It's huge, man. Yeah. It's really, it's really, really important, you know? And the thing about testosterone too is when you're natural, it's like they, it actually lowers when you're in situations where you're not necessarily the highest and like whatever hierarchy you place yourself in, you know, like it, it lowers and it becomes this, this self-fulfilling thing where, um, you know, let's say like you, you lose your job, you get really down yourself, your testosterone tanks because your testosterone tanks, you don't have the ambition to push anymore. You don't feel like you, you want to do anything like that. And then as that happens, it builds this, this momentum where you just keep falling and falling and falling and falling, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's really interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely reminds me of when I was heavily depressed when my testosterone was suppressed, dude, I didn't even want to do anything i was so lucky that that happened during covid like right when covid started because i didn't want to do anything dude i didn't even want to step outside of the house bro yeah i like didn't even want to be like seen and like i would just look at my i saw my 
body withering away. My muscle mass was getting lower mm. and my like water weight and fat was just increasing. Just continuously increasing. I just started getting like more flat and fat. The more flat and fat stage. Yeah. It was nuts, dude. Scary, man. Yeah. Yeah. And what's scary too is someone that wouldn't necessarily make the correlation that they did something that affect their t- their testosterone. You yeah. Know? They're just like, what is wrong with me? What's going on? They run one cycle. They run like a 19 Norris, right? They run Trinodeca. And it's like, you you don't realize like you're screwed potentially for like a good year. You know, like those metabolites are in your body. You're going to be suppressed. And like, you just get some some guy that you just like, it's some gym bro. And he's like, yo, take this. It's going to be fine. You take it, you come off and your testosterone's in the gutter. And if you don't make that correlation that because of what you did, it's affecting your testosterone like that, you know, you're going to blame other things. You're going to get in this bad pitfall where you're just, you just messed up, you know? Yeah. And you don't know where to look. Yeah. Like I've, I, you know, I've, I've seen people like that. I have clients like that, that have set themselves up in that position. And it's, it's really, um, it's terrifying, especially when they didn't know that that's what caused it. You know, they think it's like, what's wrong with me? I'm depressed. Like, this is wrong. That's wrong. And it's like, no, you're literally the foundation of your life, which is your hormones, like are absolutely abysmal. Yeah. And it's, it sucks because a lot of them don't even realize that's what it is. Yeah. You just go through life wondering what the f- is wrong with me. Exactly. Because that's what happened to me the first few months. And then Ro and Melody, like my two best and closest girlfriends were like, maybe you should check your mental health. Like maybe you should like focus more on your mental health and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I took that so personally. I was like, <laughs> I was like, it's not my f- mental health, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like sh- every day like i would like try to practice good mental health and didn't change the fact that i felt absolutely depressed you yeah. know it didn't it didn't like just practicing mental health didn't fix depression yeah. it, it can it can help but the yeah. the the stuff that comes inside yeah. the things that are in, like from your health that are ingrained from your health yeah. You have to address your health first. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I think the the biggest issue with that too, like when people are always like, oh, you need to adjust your mental health. Like you need to like get a touch, like in tune with spirituality. Like that's like, that's 100% right. But at the same time, like there is very like real foundational things that need to be in check, you know, like have a healthy relationship with your friends, have a healthy, healthy relationship with, with yourself, be financially secure, you know, like be, um, in a good career path where you actually see value come into fruition. Like you see what you're doing that, that is valuable for society, stuff like that. And then obviously your hormones, like these are foundational things that, that need to be in check before really you can even see like, um, any benefit from just like sticking, like, like really trying to work with spirituality and like really trying to work with like, just, just, just like becoming a happier person. Like if, if these things aren't in check, I mean, it's, you're basically like trying to slap a, a yep. patch on a sinking ship, but like, mm-hmm. you know, there's so many patches, <laughs> it's, it's not going to fix it. Right. Yeah. It's very important. I agree. Mm. I totally agree with that, bro. I do see hormones are like the ship, the ones driving, the ones transporting. And then the cargo is like all the extra stuff, your proteins and nutrition that you have. If you don't have proper hormones though, you're just, your body's not going to work optimally no matter what, like no matter what, if you don't have proper hormones. No, no, it's, it's so important. So if we can like put out some kind of information that might help people like, or help even kids that haven't had, you know, the information that I had or that I wish I had, that would be pretty sick. Yeah. If you could. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely, man. Yeah. It goes down to the deeper value, bro. It's the value you put onto the world, dude. That's what's beautiful about social media. Yeah. You know, like, dude, the, the amount of following that you have and the amount of influence that you can possibly bestow on the world, like, that's unprecedented, man. That's, like, stuff that, like, you know, way back when, like, you would have to be a, a major political figure or something just to have, like, that type yeah. of influence. It's pretty crazy. Right. So, yeah. you guys check my shit. Like, I'm not a genius. I don't know everything. Yeah. So check me. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Humble. Mm. Get humbled. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always humbled by people, to be honest. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah.